and my rage gets these services live in the set.
what it is, man. We live in the set. Getting it done. Four squats into the power clean motion. Bent over row. Back up. Grind and twist back out. As we let the bag just fall back down and pull it back to it. This right here is game time opportune. As we just laying it down to fully show you organization and structure through the perfect form. So as we were introducing this look, full commentary, of course keeping the breath technique going, all of the variables and consistencies, you know, what's he doing, what's going on, he's got this new lift that he's dropping. So we're getting into, you know, our first takes in a movie setting, so we had the chance to keep our movies power clean coming out the blocks. So as we established the power clean movement, movie setting, you got the commentary, you get to hear it in some narration, so cool flickers, and just making it happen. So as we took you through that cinema limelight first time showcase out, we are now coming into our 100th program of weightlifting and powerlifting, where you've got full commentary strictly for the breath technique of keeping it moving for the long distance marathon training. So we don't want you to vary off into other areas of concern. So we address that matter of y'all. It's me, Lai, Mike Henry, talking on camera, lifting weights at the same time. For the long distance marathon heavy weight lifting set. Now as we get it done right here, of course, we can get it done anywhere. So as we went ahead and established the programming, we started out, you know, our first sets. Ones and twos, top fives. And we're just getting adjusted, working on our form which we now call perfect form. So within our perfect form, I think it's like at 175, 180. Then we jumped up to 200, added some weights on the bag, was all taped up. We was just making it happen. You can check those flickers out also. But those are our ones and twos in the game. We was just starting out ripping, rapping, rhyming, and getting it done. Now the bag was flowing about the same for that and all sorts of fashions and kind. We just got 400 pounds now and it's a smooth power lift. So for those who understand, you know what it's like to just work out on 400 pounds. When you get there, you know it ain't no game. When you get there, it really ain't no twerk. It's really hard work. So it takes you straight from player mode 
So this is the real deal. Either you can go or you can't. So you know immediately. So it separates the girls from the boys, the men from the women. Immediately. So as we did that, we built up to keep our form, of course, correct. Won't be too many mistakes. You know, feet shoulder width apart, it's the inner grip. Everything's below the waist when we hold the reins. It's right there at the abdomen, and that's how we get it done. Nothing going above the head or above the heart causing any type of high blood pressure in our movement. As you can very well see. So when you watch this, as we said it at World Records, of course we kept that momentum and volation steadily moving when we was pumping two hours. Just gone. Just gone. Just gone. So, as you see here, now, let me take you through some of the corridors and some of the passages that I've laid down in weightlifting. This is where we originally started in Mari's Gifty Services and making it happen on the heavy bag. Hit. Pumping the dummy bag up, filling it with weights, and just, you know, moving it around, seeing what it's going to do. So at this weight, you can't really lift it up and knee drag it forward. I mean, you can, because I'm starting to, but we're just getting nice at it. We want to get nice at 400 pounds. So when we move up to 500, you understand, being at 500 pounds, lifting a heavy bag is like when we're about... 20 minutes into lifting this at 400 pounds. So we'll be starting out at 500 pounds, getting it done, moving the weights up for our variation. But 400 is a cool weight to work out with, get nice, make sure the back sways. So when we do move up, all the weight ratios and variations are there. So at 20 minutes on this, that's like lifting 500 pounds for five minutes already. And you know, you see me at 500, 550 already over an hour straight. So we ain't got nothing to hide in that, in it being, you know, our debut to how we came out in the cin cinemas and in the movies and making movies. We play the autobiography, the truth, our Clint. So it ain't going to differ for that, it don't come across another way, it ain't going to get carried off into something else, this is long distance, heavy bag weightlifting, MRA stuff, MRA's 50 services, getting it done live in the set. And that's pretty much how that works. So if you have questions that want to be answered, of course. There will be times where that will be applicable as necessary when we get into a theater setting and there will be, you know, one-on-one -on -one cameos or just me live on the camera or me live with my mixtape spitting acapella rhymes while I lift weight. And we just, you know, get nice seeing how we're going to do. So, when you hear this, all the commentary throughout each lift, all that means is the brush technique, the long distance heavy bag weight lift. When we address some of the necessities for the autobiography and it being the real deal, oh, the real deal, and the strap is broke right now, ah, we got one, we got one live right here, okay. We live in the set, inside grip, heavy bag sway, coming up, the strap is broke, you didn't see this one coming, so we seen the front one, if you see right here, the seams is broke in the front area, the strap is broke right here, on the left hand side again, 
So we get down to the nitty gritty of the real deal. One more gear live in the set. So our accomplishments are established. Um, you know, it's time for a new bag. We were hoping that we would be able to just keep this until, you know, this one didn't bust in front. But lo and behold, this one busted right here on this side. So, uh, it's not a game. This is live in the set, how we always do. You know what I'm saying? MRH, MRH GT Services. Holding it right here. Live. You know what I'm saying? So, we definitely want y'all to be able to reach out at Starweed at, at, star at gmail.com or starweed at mail.com. You can also hit me at 253-304-9461. We live in the set. It's worldwide. We upload and then download. We getting it done. You know, we just want y'all to be aware. This is how we get down. This is how we do it. So the heavy bag strap is broke again. Live one in the set. Flip flarn, flip flarn to flip. Gone. You know what I said? What's up? Hey, you're back. What you doing back? What's, what's, what's going on? What you doing? Right. Okay. Let's see what's going on top. You know what I'm saying?